Last night we arrived late in Husayma, and now we are on our way to Fez. Morocco is the sixth largest producer of olive oil worldwide. You see olive trees all over the place here in Morocco, but particularly in this region of the Reef Mountains. And on the route to Fez, we came across this olive press and decided to ask for a tour. We're going to take you inside and show you how they press olives in Morocco. Let's go. We're starting where the olive trucks are arriving from local olive grove. The Moroccan Picholine olive accounts for over 95% of the olives produced in Morocco and is responsible for the distinctive taste of Moroccan olive oil. The three different colors of these olives aren't different types of olives, but different stages of ripeness, with green being the least ripe and black being overripe. The best olive oil comes from a mixed batch of all three colors such as this. He leads us inside and calls the manager of the entire operation who kindly agrees to give us a guided tour. The manager explains that there are two ways to press olives, the traditional way and the modern way, and this factory does both. Both methods result in cold pressed olive oil, which simply means that heat is not used to extract the oil. We start the tour with the modern side of the press where olives are carried by conveyor belt to a bath where the leaves and stems are separated from the fruit. Afterwards, the olives are crushed in this mill and the resulting paste undergoes slow rotation called malaxation, which allows tiny droplets of oil to begin collecting. The centrifuge separates the olive oil from the crushed olive pits, flesh, and skin, and water is removed, allowing the oil to continue along the process. This golden olive oil is ready to be moved to the storage tanks. Now we're moving on to the traditional process. Our guide tells us that this method is dying out because the modern method produces better results. First, huge stone wheels mill the olives. The paste undergoes malaxation and is then spread onto these fiber discs. The discs are pressed for hours to separate the liquid from the solid paste, and the resulting liquid is divided to remove the water from the oil. This leaves olive oil that has a cloudy appearance because it has not been filtered. This is what we mean when we say unrefined extra virgin olive oil. The dry organic matter is recuperated from the disc and will be sold for fuel. The fiber disc will be reused. After some gifts bought in the storefront and a gallon of delicious olive oil for the road, we are on our way to our next stop in Morocco. It sounds like it has three colors. It has the green, the black, and the red so this is the best color versus this one here for example this is over ripened while this one here this is a bit too early <laughs> 